In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to take the limit of the difference quotient. Now, hopefully in a pre-calc class you worked with this difference quotient a lot and you were good at the algebra and you got to where you understood what that difference quotient is. Right here, without the limit notation in front of it, that right there is the difference quotient um, written using the delta x. All right, sometimes there's an h there. The formula can be written a variety of ways, but the concept of the difference quotient is right there. And then very early on in a calculus class, you will get to where you start taking the limit of the difference quotient. So that's what I'm going to be doing in this example. Let's say that the problem tells you to find the limit as delta x approaches 0 of the difference quotient for the given function. And then they're going to give you a function. And in this example, my function is f of x equals 4x squared minus 3x. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of take a look at this and explain how to read that in case you're not totally familiar with the difference quotient. But basically this says to take x plus delta x and plug it into the function you plug it into the function in every place that there is an x. So I'm going to be putting it in here and I'm going to be putting it in here. Then it says to subtract the function and in this case our function is a binomial so we're going to need to be sure and put a set of parentheses around that and then we'll divide this by delta x. Alright, so I'm going to start every line as I take the limit of this difference quotient, every line is going to have the limit as delta x approaches 0 in front of it all the way up to the very end until I actually do a direct substitution. So I'm going to have the limit as delta x approaches 0. I'm going to do my first part of the formula. I'm going to take x plus delta x and plug it into both of those spots. So 4x plus delta x quantity squared, plugging it in there, minus plugging it in again right there, 3 times x plus delta x. All right, now finishing out that formula, minus the function itself. So minus the function itself is 4x squared minus 3x. And I definitely am going to want to do minus and then a set of parentheses with this being a binomial because ultimately that's going to tell us, one, we're subtracting this entire quantity, which then means we have to go through and change all of our signs all over delta x. All right, now on this next line, I'm going to foil this out. I'm going to distribute 3 and go through and change the signs here. So we'll have the limit as delta x approaches 0. I'm going to keep the 4 out here in front as I foil this out. And x squared plus 2x delta x plus delta x quantity squared. Now distributing here, minus 3x minus 3 delta x. Going through now and changing the signs. Minus 4x squared plus 3x all over delta x. Okay, now going through distributing the 4, I will have a limit as delta x approaches 0 of a 4x squared plus 8x delta x plus a 4 delta x quantity squared minus that 3x minus 3 delta x minus 4x squared plus 3x all over delta x. Now at this point, if you have done all of the arithmetic right so far, you should probably have lots of terms that are going to fall out. I've got a positive 4x squared and a negative 4x squared, so those two terms are going to fall out. Then I also have a 3x and a minus 3x, so those two terms are going to fall out. And I think that is about it. Okay, now I'm going to rewrite that line so that we've got something to look at here with everything crossed out. So then I'm going to have the limit as delta x approaches 0 of, I should have had at this point, I believe the 8 x delta x left over plus the 4 delta x quantity squared left over and a minus 3 delta x all over delta x. 
All right, so now at this point, I'm going to look at that numerator, and I'm going to see a common term of delta x. So I'm going to pull out a delta x, the limit as delta x approaches 0. Factor out the delta x. That's going to leave me with an 8x plus a 4 delta x minus 3 all over delta x. All right, then I can legally do some more algebra simplification. Those delta x's are going to cross out. So then I'm going to have the limit as delta x approaches 0 I have an 8x plus 4 delta x minus 3. At this point, I actually want to take the limit now because I have done all of the algebra simplification that I can. So I'm going to let delta x approach 0. So I am going to substitute a 0 in right there. Once I do that direct substitution, then this limit notation goes away. So then my next line is 8x plus 4 times 0 minus 3. This term is 0, so I have an 8x minus 3. All right, so just one example there of how you go about finding the limit of the difference quotient. All right, and just want to emphasize that that limit notation should stay on every line as you go down, as you are just, because the only thing on the right-hand side you're doing is doing a lot of algebra manipulation. Once you get down to the very end and you finally are going to decide, okay, now I'm ready to take the limit, you do that direct substitution, that's when that limit notation goes away. Definitely thanks for watching. Uh, be sure and share with your friends. Thanks.